I wanted to tell you how great it is to be here in one of the very first projects which I believe uh, over my lifetime and certainly uh, in yours, many projects along the Pacoima Wash that will bring green spaces, uh, environmental type projects, but more importantly, open spaces and green spaces and active spaces for families along San Fernando and Los Angeles to come, to play, to learn about the environment. We don't just uh, do one project, we like to do things in twos and sometimes threes. So what's the next park we're going to have? What, a couple of blocks away? Uh, El Dorado? What, how are we going to fund that park? Maybe we'll look to AB 31 which was a pioneering piece of legislation put together by Senator De Leon, which now makes emphasis on underserved communities, the policy of the state of California. This day is very special because this is a day where the community comes together and say, we deserve access to parks, green space, and open space. Communities are coming together and they're saying, our children, regardless of who they are, regardless of where they come from, regardless of what language they speak or their legal status. Our children deserve access to open parks and green space. And it shouldn't be your financial wherewithal that dictates if in fact you get access to mother nature, to beaches and open space. Uh, but this is part of a larger vision, a vision that uh, all of us who represent this area and this part of the county have had, which is to try to take resources that appear to be floundering or in danger of becoming negative resources, as uh, Steve pointed out, uh, and turn them into a positive amenity for the community and for the environment. It's a civil right that we have access, whether it's a passive park or whether it's an active park. And that's why this day is very important. We're working with Zev and Raul Boca Negra, you know, who is going to play a very, very important role now. You know, Congress is, uh, Congress is great. But the reality is the one who's going to play a major role at the end of the day will be someone like Raul Boca Negra at the state level. There's a lot of people to thank for this, but I think it's also it's going to get us to a point where we're going to be a, a little bit spoiled. We got to see more projects like this one happen along the Pacoima Wash. And I think we have an opportunity to demand that, to have access to funding for more projects like this one and the next one that will open up in L.A at the El Dorado Pocket Park, but this coming November you'll have an opportunity to vote for a water bond. And it's it's my charge and it's my uh, being a member of the water committee in Sacramento that projects like this are uh, able to access funding of uh, this you know multi-billion dollar bond that will be on the ballot uh, later on this year so that we have more projects like this throughout Los Angeles but more importantly throughout the Northeast San Fernando Valley. It's a pleasure to be here, to be a pleasure to be part of the team that was a part of this and let's get spoiled and, and, and really accept and insist that projects like this should be all over our communities of uh, San Fernando and Los Angeles. Thank you so much.